Yeah, I th uh, it's funny because we playing the same level, Rochdale and uh, Portsmouth was playing the same level, but it was deemed the year previous that it wasn't a level high enough for you to play, but you're still coming out for Ireland and showing that you can play at the elite level and you can play on the international stage, a stage sorry, and you're not phased by the opposition, which I think is a credit to you. Yeah, and I think it was um, a really good decision, you know, from, from my agent and the people around me, from Xavi, you know, to to tell me, you know, I could have had the possibility of going to the championship, but I think to stay in League One and guarantee myself that game time was, was massive, and I think it's paid off. Yeah, no, tenfold, you know. We, I think in football sometimes it's about luck, obviously hard work, but sometimes it's just that, that look and that little break you need, and maybe the Luxembourg game. You know, that might have been the break you needed and then, that, as I said, that propelled you from a club perspective. Overall, the last season, how would you assess it? Were you happy with how things went uh, at Portsmouth and then with Ireland as a whole? Like, Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of lot, lots that's happened over the last 12 months and um, I was really happy with my time at Portsmouth, you know, it was, um, it was a great experience for me. Like I said, the game time was the massive thing. Um, but looking forward now, you know, I can't wait to, to get started on my new new venture, you know, and um, to play in the in the Premier League is obviously my biggest goal. So the first thing I've got to do is uh, go in there and fight for my place. How difficult was it to leave Manchester City? Because I would, I'd assume that they were looking at you going, OK, Edison, he's at a good age. He's going to be playing the next number of years, probably his number one. But they're probably looking at you saying, here's the keeper who in a couple of years may be ready to come in and, and be that player for us. Was that hard that you speak about Xavi and you have obviously good relationships with Manchester City to then say bye to them? You know, it was rumoured that they were going to offer you a bumper contract and for you to stay, but you wanted, again, hammered home the, the fact that you wanted to play first team football. Yeah, I had multiple conversations with, with Xavi over the phone and I went to meet him in Manchester in person as well. Um, and we had really good conversations and, you know, he was, um, he was really good with me in terms of, you know, saying that, you know, he wanted me to stay. He wanted to, to give me the opportunity to, you know, be around the first team for a year. And um, I told him, like you said, you know, my ambition is um, to play again. You know, I wouldn't be in the position I, I am now without playing. Um, and I feel the same, you know, I want to go out and prove myself. Um, I want to make the brave decision to go out, to go out and play first team football again. I want to fight for my place now at Southampton. Um, break into that team and then from there just go and you know enjoy my football and uh, show everybody what I can do um, and you know for, for Javi and Manchester City to, to give me that opportunity to go uh, I'm very thankful for. Mm. Well it must be a huge compliment that uh, you know that they wanted to keep you on they obviously see you're, you're still very talented but as you say if you can go somewhere and try and make a claim to be number one and uh, you know get Premier League experience week in week out that's only going to stand to you yeah, definitely, and I just see that as my path at the moment. You know, I feel like we've made really good decisions uh, up until now, and I feel like this is going to be a really, really good decision as well um, that I'll look back on and be really thankful for because, you know, um, I've never been one for, you know, sitting back and hoping that things happen. I want to go and uh, make my own decisions and, you know, have everything in my control. And, you know, f for me, uh, making this move to Southampton, it feels like the the decision that will allow me to have the most control over my future. Mm. Just you, you, Southampton, I imagine there's a lot of Portsmouth fans that aren't happy now that you've gone to them. They're obviously direct rivals, but you made the decision to go there. How hard was the decision to make? Was it easy to just, that's the club for me? How was it? How did um, it go? Yeah, so I mean, there was there was um, a few clubs interested, but I think Southampton. Here, Everton were, Everton were rumours. I I feel like you should have signed for them. Just <laughs> yeah, that yeah, yeah, I know you're an Everton fan. Yeah, <laughs> um, but you know, for me, the the Southampton one, you know, the the amount of effort they put into it and the how quickly they worked on things um, and how quickly they wanted to get thing, things done was massive for me. You know, they really showed uh, a massive amount of faith in me, and you know, from from speaking to the manager. Uh, as well, he he um, he told me, you know, uh, about how much the research they had done and how much uh, they were watching me at Portsmouth, and um, from there I just got a really good feel for it, and um, I feel like it's a massive club in terms of uh, where I can go, and you know, you see the the amount of players they've developed, um, and they showed me a pathway, and it's one I want to follow. Mm. Did Pep say anything before you left to, to try and keep you or anything like that? Was he like, we see a future for you here before you'd left? Um, no, most of my conversations were, were with Xavi, yeah. yeah, and I think um, he, he was brilliant, like I said, he really um, said that we want you here, but 
he also sees how, how this Southampton move could be um, massive for me and he didn't want to stand in my way. Mm.